When running vintage Microsoft Flight Simulators on more recent operating systems past Windows 2000, certain visual models won't show up due to an incompatibility issue, as they'll be over the 64,000 BGL instruction limit. This can be rather disappointing, as you'll load up a new add-on only to find that quite a few aircraft are completely unflyable with no external model. Fortunately, this can be fixed with a freeware program, so you can restore all of your lost aircraft. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to fix these broken visual models. It'll be pretty obvious if an aircraft's external model is broken, as it won't show at all in the simulator. In CFS 2 and below, no error will be given, it'll just show the blank box where the aircraft would normally be displayed. In FS 2002 and above, however, an error will be given, stating the visual model cannot be displayed. Shown here is the error from FS 2002. In the description of the video, there's a link that'll take you to the download page for the program MDL Repair within the flightsim.com file library. If you haven't already, create an account and download the file. Inside the zip file is the readme and the program itself. Running the program and then locate the folder of whichever aircraft needs fixing inside of your flightsim directory. For this example, I'll be using the AlphaSim Gloucester Javelin from AeroPower Cold War which currently has a broken MDL file and doesn't show up. This method should work with any aircraft, regardless of developer and simulator. From the main aircraft folder, you'll then want to navigate to the model subfolder. The menu on the right will contain the MDL files present, and a red error message will be displayed at the bottom if the model is broken. Simply select the file in question and hit repair. A backup of the original file will be created, and you'll now be able to fly your aircraft as normal. The damage profile in combat flight simulators won't be affected at all, as it's contained within a different file. For my second example, I will be repairing the Boeing Chinook HC-1 from RAF-2000, and this time inside of Flight Simulator 98. It's exactly the same process for every aircraft, and here we can see the finished result. Thank you very much for watching this quick tutorial, Hopefully it'll be helpful in restoring your broken aircraft back to flying condition. I make many other videos on this channel about retro flight simulators, so hopefully you'll stick around for a bit, and I'll see you again very soon.